Go. Hey, welcome back to the Getting Together podcast. I'm Raylene Challoner, and this guy. I'm Jeremy Brinkerhoff, and we are just so appreciative. Everyone who tuned in last week for our very first podcast Yay. and uh, broadcast on YouTube. We're so excited. Cheers. Uh, we are here at the porch, <laughs> and Cheers. we actually have a guest today, so <gasps> we're super excited. Yay. And uh, we just want to also invite you down. We have some people here that showed up to actually watch us film. So you are always welcome to come down to the porch on Montezuma Street and watch what we do here at Getting Together. And today we are getting together with... <gasps> Jen James Martin. Yeah! <laughs> the crowd goes wild. <laughs> That's right. And uh, Jen, uh, you are here with us today uh, kind of promoting something that's going to be happening in Prescott. And what is that? Yes. That is Dancing for the Stars, which is happening on October 2nd this year yes at uh, hendrix auditorium at mile high middle school and it is all for a good cause yeah. for the boys and girls club of northern arizona central arizona yeah i'm saying that wrong okay boys yeah. and girls club, boys boys and girls club. club. <laughs> yes. and this is why we're wearing these, these we're smashing matchy matchy blue square it today central arizona so i said it incorrectly matchy matchy. oh there central we go arizona. so central oh, arizona okay central we'll arizona into that and we'll get that That's but you okay. know support the kids everywhere kids all are important. the fun Absolutely. from this fundraiser do stay in our sweet town of prescott yes and so how did you become involved with the boys and girls club uh, in the first place well i was asked to coffee by Nicole Kennedy. Oh man, if you're asked for coffee with Nicole, say no. So no, is there some like some <laughs> extra thing there? You just better know that there's going to be an ask at some point. Is that kind of the? You know, Nicole? I didn't know. Okay, I all right, now you know. do. Oh, man. Uh, but anyway, it was a it was a very fun ask. Stan got on the phone, and Stan Galagoski got on the phone, and and asked if they'd be involved, and you know. They made you an offer you couldn't yes. refuse. <laughs> uh -huh. That's awesome. If there's a chance to get involved in a performative way, yes, I'm likely to say yes. <laughs> I think so, and we're gonna find out why. Awesome. Yeah, especially um, so. So just for our listeners and for those of us who are not as familiar with Boys and Girls Club, what do they do? Kind of what's their their main thing, mm -hmm. and uh, what is it about them that you said absolutely I'd love to be a part? Well, I I moved back to Prescott. After being in New York for a long time, I have three young children. Okay. Three young children. Yes. Are yes. hard to manage. <sighs> manage is a great word. Thank you very much. I couldn't like find one. Like cats. <laughs> and so I, anyway, and the point is that Boys and Girls Club helps people with their children. Yes. And okay. With after school programming, mm -hmm. with other activities, and it's. It's great. I mean, it's, it's an great amazing cause. thing to help families that need it. Okay. To help kids that are willing to go somewhere mm -hmm. to have a good time and yeah. learn things and, well, awesome. and yeah. why not support that? That's Absolutely. Good. That's awesome. <laughs> and so uh, with Dancing with the Stars, what is your role with them? And I understand you may have a unique kind of gift that you, you're bringing to the table this year. Something yes. that maybe they haven't had before. I'm going to correct one thing. It's Dancing for the Stars. Dancing ah, for. Okay, so what's the... Uh, kids are the stars. It's we're dancing. Like, so you ah. have to think of the them. number, but when you go to the website, you spell it out. Yes. So anyway, um, Dancing for the Stars. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. I already forgot your question. Okay. I know. I... I you're going to do something a, special. I am a unique performer this year because I'm doing a solo. Yes, solo. Oh. We're not allowed to know what the dance is, though. They don't okay. reveal to them, to us oh, I what see. they're going to be doing. And this oh. is not my partner, though. She is my partner. Oh, well, hello hi. there. I'm sorry. I can't help you. <laughs> Can you go back? <laughs> Can I have an added uh, person up here? Yes, sure. if, it's, if you don't mind. We have a little friend. Come oh on. Oh, my gosh. You're getting big. Hi. And who do we have here? This is Avery. Hi, Hi Avery. Hi, Avery. Oh, yes. Avery, uh, is that's kind of how I feel right now. It is I, not. I you're like, camera? Where's the camera? <laughs> oh, okay. Go okay, you're right. Here. All right. Sometimes she's camera happy yes. and sometimes her camera shy. So right. today is a camera shy. She can anyway. be cuddled. I love that. Want she, me to cuddle you, Jer? No. <laughs> yeah, okay. Thank you. <laughs> Maybe she'll be I'm here. part of the Boys and Girls Club someday. Yes. Nice. That would be fun. Anyway, um, yes, performance is a secret. Uh -huh. I'm Kay. very excited. Awesome. But the first time they've ever had a solo artist. Usually you're paired up with someone right. with a professional dancer. 
but Jen is the professional, is the professional dancer, dancer and the participant. So that's exciting. It's exciting. Last year, um, I was helping Jamie and Kel with their piece. Oh, were you the okay. choreographer on that one? One of. Okay. And uh, Andrea Caldwell was also. Okay. And then Jamie and Kel, of course. Right. But uh, we were having a great time and it was fun to be involved. Yeah. So I guess that was my first involvement. Okay. Yes. This is, That's awesome. Yeah. And then now it's in a different capacity. Now and it's you're in a be... different capacity. I got to be part of the part of the program as a star and as a community yeah. member yeah oh, that's, that's really cool so great yeah. that's really cool yes uh and so with this how do people like how does the fundraiser work how do people get involved is there can they back you can they support you specifically or they is can. the best way just to come to the yeah. event okay three different things you can do okay. one would be really exciting to me so i hope you call nicole right now <laughs> call nicole let's flood nicole <laughs> um anyway you can call and sponsor me specifically okay and that would be uh, donating money to the boys and girls club and depending upon the amount if you do it as an individual or as a business mm -hmm. you can then receive tickets vip tickets table this all depends on the number right but okay you get um, access that way. Yeah. The awesome. other thing you can do is buy tickets, which are now on sale. Yay. So you can buy tickets to go see the show. There's nice. a matinee and there's an evening. Times. Okay. Don't ask me times. Okay. And then... We'll get the times on there. We'll, we'll have them done. <laughs> yeah. There'll be a link. I'll be there all day. Yes. Yes. And, right, right. Uh, the last option is that you can vote. You don't have to go to the show or attend, but you can still vote for me. So oh. I think you should do that too. Yes. <laughs> nice. And right now she's not going to brag. I'm going to brag on Jen. Right now she is the highest in sponsorship. She has $56,000 right now. She's towards. Wow. I like yeah. the idea of winning though. So please call Nicole. Yes. That's she's right. a Jen. competitive person. I love <laughs> this it. Is good. We're going to drive this competition. But that's not enough. $56,000. Oh, Actually, no. nowhere enough. near enough. Let's just say to you, if, if there's anyone else that you would like to sponsor, do that yeah. because the money all goes towards the kids. Yeah, that's and right. And even if you don't want to sponsor anyone in a specific sense, yes, you could give money to all of the competitors. Yes. Oh, okay. So that would be eight divided in eight. Okay. Send it over. Oh, that's good. Or you know, you just sponsor Boys and Girls Club. Okay. With awesome. all of your money. Is there a winner though? I've I've wondered this in past. Is there a winner? Like, is there? Is it just whoever the raises? The kids are the winner, Ray. Right. Oh, I like that answer. <laughs> yes. I haven't ever attended the show before. I believe it to be that there's Is it just a whoever winner? raises the <laughs> most amount of money or do people vote? I don't know. Because when I got to go, I was a volunteer. So I didn't get a vote. But um, did you find, was there a winner? I think there's a winner. Maybe there's a winner in fundraising and there's a winner in performance. And okay. there, there are we, judges. We will find okay, this out. There judges. are judges at yeah, the Yeah, and event. they're hilarious. The judges are fun. So, they're so fun. So, yeah. yeah, I actually don't know the answer. <laughs> I think um, Police well, Chief Amy is going to be a judge this year, isn't she? Who? Police, Police Chief Amy. Oh, I don't know. I think so. Nice. I don't know. She's so fun. that's another reason to stay tuned because we will have answers to all these <laughs> yes, burning questions in the future. So that's going to be awesome. The people want to know. The people exactly. do want to know. Because, I mean, you do. I, mean, I should know. You have these people that, like me, like I, you bring out my nineness a lot. But uh, this whole thing of like wanting to be a peacemaker, I'm going to I'm going to spread it very thin across lots of people. I don't want to favor anyone and uh, then get in okay. trouble with another okay. one so that's how i would do it so you can sponsor people by spreading the love over the board over the board or you can really drive this competition and uh and <laughs> donate it all to one yes. competitor so that's yes. really that's really cool yeah love it one of the things that we uh want to do with this podcast as well is just kind of highlight prescott I mean, we we live here we live in the quad city area um obviously we do business here and things like that because we love it there yes. is something about Prescott so that special. is everybody's hometown. Yeah. And so I would like to hear a little bit more about your story. I understand you grew up here. That's it. And then, She's um, homegrown. You moved to, to the greatest city in the world, New York City. I did, And now yes. you're back in Prescott. So um, mm -hmm. would you just kind of tell us a little bit about your growing up and kind yes. of that, that, that progression? I'm so excited about this part. <laughs> <laughs> so we moved here when I was seven, six or seven. As, from? So from Scottsdale. Okay. And, okay. Arizona. Yeah. Um, I had a lovely childhood. Oh, you know, yes. I, I did lots of fun things. I was a swimmer, then I was a dancer, then I was a cheerleader, and and everything was great. Yeah. But I wanted more. Yeah. Okay. I, I wanted to experience 
lots of things. Yeah. So I went to college in St. Louis, so okay. halfway across the country. Yeah. And I was actually intending just to dance in LA. Uh, but then I decided I should go to New York to learn hip hop. <gasps> wow. Okay. I want to see you hip hop. <laughs> <laughs> the skill has since faded a bit, but anyway, I went to New York for that reason. So yeah. was, the, was the hip hop scene just not hip enough here in Prescott? I don't understand that, Jeremy. I don't, I don't know. I don't get that. <laughs> I, anyway, I hadn't sought it out in Prescott, okay. so right. I guess maybe, maybe that it's was there underground. Me. Yes, the <laughs> underground hip hop scene yeah. under the Palace Saloon. Yeah. Check us out Friday nights. <laughs> oh my gosh, that would be amazing. Uh, so anyway, I, I ended up in New York and like you said, it is just an amazing place. An amazing place that you can't really comprehend yes. until you live there. Uh -huh. like, I wasn't a big movie watcher, so I'd see things in movies and be like, is that really? And then you get there. <laughs> And, and it is. is actually <gasps> it is yes all of these things all the buildings the, yeah. and all sorts of stuff but anyway yeah. I, I fell in love i lived in the nice. east village uh, oh nice first and then um even further east in alphabet city for a while so oh my gosh kind of crazy then moved to brooklyn but anyway met my, my now, is alphabet city husband. close to sesame street is that <laughs> Is that where? Tell me how oh, no. to get. It used to Sorry. be a little shady, so I would say Alphabet. no. Maybe that's, not. I'm, I'm not familiar with that area. Okay. No, it's, it's right. east of East Village. One. Okay. Uh, anyway, it was wow. lovely. Yeah. I love New York. And the problem is that having three children in New York mm. is difficult. Mm -hmm. So the day that broke me was a subway ride with a double stroller, and this one strapped to my body. Oh, my The word. subway elevator was broken oh my so goodness. i handed her off to some strange grandma i pulled the i had the boys watching the train from above like terrifying and i mean a railing there's a railing but it's still terrifying yes. oh, yeah and then and then i'm hauling this stroller up with towels and scooters and all this thing because <laughs> Oh, we my were going word. to the city to to have swim lessons because oh, you couldn't oh find swim lessons goodness. nearby. Anyway, it broke me. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, sister. I can see how that would I, Like, do I'm that. breaking out in a sweat as she's talking. I'm like, uh -uh. And, and your three kids are how old? So now, three, five, seven. Three, five, seven. And okay. grumpy. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, so uh, close in age. I mean, that's, that's, a, that's a lot of little. It was a lot of little. Packed into yeah. that, in that a, crew. You know, in a, in a beautiful building, but... Okay, well, I was going to say, though, did you meet your, your hubby there? I met then? my husband there. Okay. Yes. What okay. does he do? Do we know that? He, what, what did he do? He was an, uh, a lawyer. <gasps> oh, wow. yeah. okay. So, okay. So, suit, suit and where did he morning. move from? He was from New Jersey. Okay, so, oh. like, so in big cities, his thing. Yeah, yeah I know. He, he moved to Arizona. <gasps> Because he wow. loves you. He loves me. Oh, That's my amazing. Word. Isn't that amazing? That is amazing. <laughs> so my, my sister, uh, she moved to New Orange, New Jersey, and she was back there for like 12 years. And uh, it was kind of a weird thing. Growing up, I always desired to be in a big city. I thought New York, you know, that'd be really cool. And um, then I ended up in Prescott. She ends up in New Jersey. She was always like, I like small mountain towns. <laughs> and so here we are like flip-flopped, you know? I went out to spend a summer with her and oh, I, mean, I enjoyed I enjoyed that entire summer. It was amazing. And it does. It like it captured there's just something different about that city. Yeah. It's it's not like any other place. And yeah. so um then she ended up moving out to Prescott. She lives here now. Aww. And uh and there there is. I mean it's just it's just totally different. And I remember one of her roommates had visited out here and she had grown up um back east and she said, I think what's so crazy to me is how much space there is. She's like, it's so open. And, uh, here she's talking yes, about? Yes, here. Yes. And uh, just in, in so many areas back east, the buildings, the people, the, I mean, everything, there's there's just something Tight. everywhere. Yeah. And mm -hmm. uh, for that for that thing of just expanse, that's that's one of the things I love about Arizona that's you kept can, me here. You can yes. think your own thoughts without someone walking into them. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's, that's a, really good. Yes, that's so true. Yeah. yeah. How do you feel, Jen, about being out there and then coming back here you must have seen things change here things have changed. and about people like us coming in to your hometown <laughs> it says everybody's hometown <laughs> why did they make that a phrase if they don't want us all to move here <laughs> yes, that's right. oh, oh man because yeah. now it is it's my hometown right yeah. how do you how do you feel about that I, I mean i feel like the more the merrier if people love it then mm -hmm. obviously go places you love because then yeah. you'll support 
the community and yes. the environment and, and all of the things that make it amazing. Yes. Um, but yeah. it is it is interesting being back. Oh, yeah. and, and how long have you been back? Ooh. She's really hot. <laughs> yeah. It is kind of warm in here. Uh, it is warm in we, here. We moved in the summer of 19. Okay. Okay. So, oh, gosh. Yeah, so yeah. we moved back and hadn't really fully acclimated, I think. Right. Yeah. right. As a family. And then pandemic. Yes. <laughs> sure. Oh, wow. And then we were, we've actually been very cautious compared to, I would say, most... Um, Presketonians. Yes. Yeah. Our our Facebook feeds and friends are full of the yuck, the really uh, bad stuff. So we were super cautious last year. Oh yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And and now again, yeah. masking and sure. I know. All yeah. the things. Sure. All but, the things. Yeah, absolutely. We're having to yep, change some <laughs> of our ways. But the dancing must go on. The dancing it must, must go on. It, it must go on. Speaking of, and we were talking earlier. Yeah, we Tell were. us about the exciting thing that's There's coming up. There's more dancing coming yes. to Prescott, which I'm super excited so about. So a little touch of New York right uh -huh. here. And this actually goes, yeah, both For real. ways here. So the Margot Fontaine Academy of Ballet yes. is now headquartered, world headquarters in Prescott, in Arizona. Prescott, what? Arizona. Yes. I missed that somewhere. From New York <laughs> to so, Prescott. So they had a space in New York, not in New York City. It was it was upstate a little bit. Yeah. And mm -hmm. things happened that made it necessary to move. Yeah. And the director fell in love with Northern Arizona. Yes. That's amazing. <laughs> We're so glad. Anyway, the, the academy is being built, but there's a performance in two weeks. Uh, September 11th yes. at Ruth wow. Street Theater. Oh, the yeah, it's a great theater. The newly uh -huh. appointed assistant, uh, sorry, associate artistic director yeah. is bringing in professionals. And it's going to be an amazing, amazing. Night of That's great. beautiful ballet. Yeah. Okay. And I was asking, yeah. as a mom of a 10 year old girl, like, do you think it would hold her attention? She's never been to anything like that. And we've been to Shrek the Musical. <laughs> but, different. you know, this Thanks is kind of a step up from that. <laughs> no offense to those that were in Shrek, but um, <laughs> just different. It just did hold, you know, my daughter's attention. And you, your response was, yeah, I believe it to be true. Yeah, I, I mean, I think there's something fascinating about. I'm a dancer, so of mm -hmm. course I like it. Mm -hmm. so maybe not every ten year old would like it, but anyone who's interested in dance and seeing these beautiful performers on stage, yes. I think would get something out of it. Yeah, even awesome. if you go for the first half, right? There's yeah. there are two. Oh, yes. Okay. There's an act one and act two, so there's always an intermission that you can leave. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, and the nice thing about Ruth Street, too, is it's, it's a much more intimate setting. And so, mm -hmm. I mean, you really can be a little more immersed in, in what's happening on stage. It's not so much distance where you might, right. like, kind of not feel as connected. So I think that'll help. Yeah. 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 It's a great spot. Um, tell us about your niche, though, because you, as I was reading your bio, I was a little intimidated. There's some stuff on there, <laughs> sister. I mean... Good Morning America was mentioned. <laughs> and I mean, it's New York. <clears throat> several Everyone other New things. York <laughs> so, um, but you, I mean, you've created some stuff. So tell us about your stuff. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so in New York, though, I went for dance. I've always loved dance. I wasn't really good at auditioning. Oh, I man, found that tough. what I was good at was creating, bringing yeah. people together, managing people. So I started a company uh, that basically provided dance for oops, watch your head for special events. So that's oh. where the things oh, like okay. Good, Good Morning America came into oh, play, okay. and Johnny Walker, and cool things where you could choreograph dancers for special yes. events. And I love that; it gives me a little, just a little, you know, a little bit of a framework, yeah. and then you just yeah. go with that. Yeah. Uh, but then within my event, eventing. Okay, sorry. Excuse us. You're That's fine. Right. It's fine. Okay. Um, within that, I was working for an entertainment company, and we hired an aerialist. Yes. And I was like, I need that in my life. <laughs> okay. So, so for those of us who may not okay, know, so, right. what is that? What aerialist, that if you've entail? ever um, seen a Cirque du Soleil show or imagined yourself to see a Cirque du Soleil <laughs> yes. show, yes. Yeah. or anyone who is basically hanging from a suspended from the ceiling okay very like a huge variety of apparatus that you can learn okay yeah. and the apparatus is each shape or or item that you use yes hanging from the ceiling 
uh, would be considered aerial. Uh, okay. okay. So up for, in the air and dancing. And dancing. So that's and that's dancing the thing. Is so me, like, is me. Okay. It's not Cirque du Soleil. Cirque du Soleil would be like tricks and okay. more maybe of a gymnastic base. And my okay. side, because I'm a dancer, is I'm happy with the fluid and the dancing and just the beauty of it. Mm-hmm. And so with the element of death. With yeah, the pretty much. Of with yes. the element of death. Yes. Okay, Are you dancing with the element of death. Feet Are you ready for this to be really fun? <gasps> I'm afraid of heights. No. <laughs> That'd be like us being afraid of the microphone. I, <laughs> I want to do that, except for the heights thing, but with the heights. Yes. Okay, good. Yeah. What? I know. Well, this is why I would never try for Cirque du Soleil because they go 60 feet up. Oh, okay. No chance. Okay. okay. No chance for me. I, I'm happy. And like, what's your threshold? My, my, my fear was 30. Okay. Wow. That's pretty it's, high. It was really yeah. high. And maybe it was a little less than that. Uh-huh. Maybe it was 25. It was Webster Hall, New York City. We had one, re- two rehearsals. Oh. And then my piece that I did solo dropped from this hole in the ceiling. <laughs> like with a flashlight or phone or whatever we did with the prickly nails up there and oh, just oh my my God. dropped down. It was like, okay, I got this, I got this, I got this. I got this. But it was amazing. Oh, oh, in the end, it was amazing, yeah. right? But yeah, uh, yeah that was, that's, my, that's my spot. Okay. <laughs> wow. so, I'm what's happier your, what's your sort of yeah. comfort level? You'd rather be like the 12 to 15 feet or like now yes. you're good because yeah. you overcame that yes. fear? And what? I actually really loved what I tried to create with a, a lot of things in... I was directing an aerial program at a studio. I started a program at Crunch Gyms with aerial, oh, and it cool. was very much grounded aerial. So you would okay. you would have a hammock, so you can put your body weight into it, but your feet are still on the ground. Okay. Oh. So you can so that's like your partner and your prop, and you can yeah. dance with nice. that. Okay. I see. Kind of get used to it. Oh, sweetie. We're almost done. Um, We're almost done, darling. Anyway, so that's my happy place, but I love performing under 20 feet. (laughs) Okay. There it is. There it is. Maybe we'll work up to that someday. Uh I did say they're going to come to class and there's going to be a challenge. Challenge. Yes session Ooh, should we make it a competition i don't yes. know anyway someday there's gonna be a place in prescott someday yes. okay where we can do this all right yes. so if you want to see me in a leotard tune yes. in down the road uh-huh. or maybe it's just leggings spectacular. Yeah. okay just leggings would you just still leggings. take us to that Jeremy? robin hood men in tights so we could we absolutely, could absolutely oh, that. i like it yes <laughs> fair enough yes. well that's awesome uh-huh. Um, so uh, that that business is off the ground, or it's kind of coming. So or well, that's off the, the progression of my life. <laughs> off the ground. There's I just good. now got it. I, just, just, uh. so I started in within the pandemic period. Oh, I started a company, really Suspended good. Fluidity. So I offer online oh, like tutorials. That. Okay. Right now, but I intend yes. for it to become maybe possibly a studio in the area if I figure out okay. a okay. location. Okay. Uh, right. They have rafters here. They do. At the porch. Yeah, but the rafters here. The okay. wood doesn't work for me. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I know. I looked in here. <laughs> nice. Okay. Um, and I actually want to have retreats. Ooh. So okay. bring people from out of town and be able to offer, you know, some aerials, some something that's Prescott, like aerial plus horseback riding or aerial oh, plus nice. climbing or aerial plus, I don't know. Mountain bike riding. Yes. No bike, mountain bike riding. Mountain bike riding. Like, exactly. <laughs> yeah. And then he would come. There yes. Yeah. Or, you know, husband and wives could come or, yeah, oh, there you go. like, uh-huh. so, yeah, That's I have cool. a vision for that that I'm waiting to realize until I find all the places and pandemic is gone. Yeah, there <laughs> yes. you go. Right. Well, yeah. you are kind of Prescott royalty, so I'm sure someone would make a space available for you. I don't know about that, but I hope so. So if anyone's listening, mm-hmm. please, mm-hmm. if you have a 20 foot tall ceiling. No, not if anyone's li- there's people there's listening. People listening. There's people listening. Our Jen. moms listen with <laughs> faithfully, 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 good mommy. Yes. <laughs> no, we hear what you're saying there. Yes. So, um, we, we are very grateful for you so coming grateful. here today Thank and uh, we're, we're just really excited me. and our first guest uh, yes. so that's like you're, you're now part of um getting together lore yes <laughs> you know as we have a million like subscribers that. they're gonna be uh-huh. who's the first guest we're like it was John. i mean come on Jen so, Martin. thank you so much for being here. And uh, you can, you can watch and listen um, on Spotify, on YouTube, on Facebook. We're going to have all those links posted. And we'll have links to these various um, aspects that we've talked about today with uh, Boys and Girls Club, uh, with Dancing with Four. No, four. gosh, I did it wrong again. Dancing that's Four. It. Dancing yes. Four. Okay, I'll give the number four. I'm dancing you. Four the start. Okay, that's fine. 
that's fine uh it was a good run all two shows but uh so dancing for the stars because the kids are the stars mm -hmm. and uh and then also to uh to suspended fluidity, fluidity. Yes. but uh again jen thank you so much for being here today and avery i'm sorry sweetie. and avery yep mama we yes. let you go now all right <laughs> All right. Thank you for having me. I Absolutely. appreciate it. Definitely. And good luck. Thank you. Vote. Yes, yes vote. vote. Or sponsor. Early sponsor enough. Sponsor or go. Both. <laughs> yes. Thank you. All That's right. It. Our we'll, talk is done. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye.